Attention all viewers, attention all viewers, this is a message from the universe. Nobody is coming to save you. Nobody's coming. And if they were, to save you from what? Hi. I'm Kevin at the Drake Michigan platform and in this series we're going to be looking at how to make the changes in your life so you can live the life of your dreams. No longer should life be happening to you, you should be making and creating the life that you wish to live. Be honest, how's life going? Did you think it would have turned out a little bit different? Did you think you'd be a little bit further on in life than where you are? Has the world issues and problems got you down? Are you looking for more meaning in your life? Do you want more in your life? Are you looking for love? Better friendships and relationships? Do you wish you got on with family and friends better? Do you wish you could separate and move away from certain family and friends? Are you stuck in a job that you hate? What do you really want to do? If everything, the table was clean and someone said to you, what is your dream job, your dream life? What do you want to do? Are you currently doing that? And if not, why not? And how long are you prepared to waste until you start doing what you love? Or are you just going to be another statistic that goes through your whole life never doing what you really ever wanted to do? In my life, I've been financially broken and I've been financially abundant. Money brings options and money brings less stress. Let's not pretend it doesn't. In the Western world, you've only got to go a few weeks with no money before all the struggles start piling up. But they say, if you do a job you love, you'll never really work a day in your life. So, how do we do a job we love but also turn it into a job where we create enough income so we don't have people chasing us, all the bills are paid, so we can live a comfortable life. When we truly believe and have faith in ourselves, we are able to create the life that we really want to live. I'd like you to take a moment to evaluate your life. Where are you putting all your energy? Are you chasing something that has no end result? And even if, you know, you were to win or you thought you were winning at some, let's say it was a legal battle or, you know, proving that you were right. What happens after that? What did it really matter? Are you putting all your energy into working for someone else and it's making you unhappy, but it's making them financially better? Are you putting all your energy into friendships and to family values that serve no purpose in making you better and making you happier? Where is all your energy being lost and being spent? Because ultimately, the only thing that's going to make you better is if you become better. So that means keeping your energy for you. And there's a little thing in life, which is this. You can have more because you can become more. And the more you become, the more you have. And the more you have, the more you become. And it starts by giving you the attention and the energy that's needed. When we put together things like the Create Your Dreams journal, we did it from the platform that we realised it was only when we worked on ourselves that we could start bringing the happiness and joy into our lives that we really wanted. We refused to play the system, the game anymore. We refuse to be the pawn in other people's distractions and obstacles. We want to live life on our terms, in our way. And you can do that by learning the true power of you and how to create the life that you want to live. Your subconscious mind at the moment will be absorbing everything that's going around you and creating a life based on that evidence. So you need to surround yourself with the life that you want to be in. Feed the subconscious mind 
with the people, the situations, the places that you want to create in your future. Let me explain this to you. Anybody who's anybody, high up politicians, professional sports people, whether it's um, film and actors and singers, they all know the secret to success is manifesting and living their life now by living it in the future. They understand, they see their self three months from now, where they're going to be, what they want to do, what they want to be around, who, what they want to achieve. And they know in three months time that will then become their present. And you can be taught all this too. You can create this real life of your dreams. I'm on this journey now. I've released a life that I don't want to live anymore. I'm going to manifest and bring into my life the life that I want to create and the life that I want to live. Because we shouldn't be chasing. Because if we're chasing, we're never going to get it. We need to, we need to become attractive. We need to attract things to us. These little steps that we're going to show you in this series... We're going to transform your life. And all you have to do is keep that energy to yourself and make the changes that are required. In this series, we're going to look to bring stuff to you to help in your personal life, professional life and spiritual life. Small and easy steps to make changes to enhance every area of your life. And this, this life is only going to be created by you making the changes. When you change, the world changes. When you change, your whole life changes. When you change, you become the inspiration for others around you to change. Now, change is inevitable. But are you going to allow changes to happen to your life? Or are you going to be the one who makes the changes in your life? History and life shows us everything happens in cycles. Highs and lows, peaks and troughs. When things are going well, we may think that we're, we're responsible and that we're doing really well in life. When things are going bad, we often look and try to blame other people. When life's not going so well, we look for miracles and outside sources that we think is going to save the day. We can spend years scratching around, hoping that things will get better. Never really realising if we took decisive action straight away and implemented small changes into our life, we could start to make adjustments that would improve our life. Now, if a miracle did come along and happen, whoopee-doo, fantastic, push the process along. But more, more than not likely... It's not going to happen. Some people tend to use what's classed as the middle of the road, the comfort zone. Just keeping the head above water. So when things don't go so well, they just go below the water, but it's not too deep. And soon they try to come just enough, high enough just so they can breathe again. But never really raising much more than above the neck. So they sort of go through life as if it's been some kind of success just getting to the end. What a sad life. When we're young, we're excited. We have loads of energy. We have dreams. But the, by the time we get to middle age, there's not so much enthusiasm. There's more of, I just want peace. I just want no hassle in my life. And by the time we're older... Most people, if they were honest, would probably say, I wish I would have done certain things, tried a little bit harder, travelled more. Most people are happy to go through their whole life never really living, just existing, just doing just enough, pay the bills, bring the kids up, visit the family and friends, have one holiday a year if they're lucky. But for what? What a sad existence. That's not my only, that's my personal view. You know, if, if people are happy with that, if people think that just getting through this life, you know, so you can be buried in a box and that's enough for them, then great, then great. That's great for you. But what if you want a little bit more in life? What if you want to know the answers to life? What if you want to travel more, experiment more, have more partners, not get married? Just what if you want 
more. Who said you can't? Well, society definitely tells you you can't. Society is set up in such a way that every time you try to advance, you get pushed back. If you want to create a business, obstacles are put in your way to create hurdles after hurdles. It's almost impossible. If we had to tell an advanced civilization or alien life forms that visited the earth, the greatest joke on humanity, surely that joke would have to be how we live our lives. It, it's an absolute joke. We worship things that we, we've never seen. We pray for things to happen with no proof that it could ever happen. We pay money to people that we, you're never going to meet or see. We work all week to never have enough money to buy the things that you want and then you never own them or then they get took off you. We eat foods that ultimately kill us. We never really look to use our full potential and what we're capable of. We really are sheep being herded by people with knowledge and power. And people will go through their whole life accepting that. Instead of taking responsibility for their life, instead of stepping up and saying, I want more, I refuse to have this life. In the 90s, the government used to tell us, education, education, education. Now, I'm all for educating yourself as much as you possibly can, but not the type of education they were on about. Politicians' slogan should really be, distraction, Distraction, distraction. Because I'll tell you this now, politicians and people in power are the greatest magicians that I've ever seen. They can convince people with a few easy words. Normally three. As this series develops, I want to bring practical advice and easy steps and tips that you can bring into your life to make adjustments where you can see profound impact happening straight away little things it can help your health your wealth and your happiness along the road we may even bring other people in to share their wisdom with you but there's plenty of information out there that people are not aware of that we can bring to this platform to directly show you we are already born perfect in so many ways but yet as we grow older instead of looking within and understanding this amazing body and brain and subconscious and energy and power that we have, we look outside the box. You and you alone have all the power that is needed. You are the creator of the world that you live. People will overestimate what can be done in a year, but underestimate what can be achieved in five years. I can more or less guarantee if you were to follow everything, all the proper advice that's out there, you could be wherever you want and whoever you want within a five-year period. But most people won't. And five years will pass and you'll still be the same person in the same predicament, the same situations, because most people are not prepared to put the effort in to make the change. They're looking for some kind of outside saviour or some miracle lottery win, or, you know, a past relative who dies and leaves them a load of money. And even then, that that's not going to change anything. You have to be the change. So the first change that we're going to mention today is to do with your health. And that is the removal of sugar from your daily life. Sugar is like illegal cocaine. It serves no purpose but to harm you. It affects the body and it affects the brain. We need to reduce and eliminate sugar from our lives. Now, recently, we did a fantastic podcast with a lady who, you know, is an expert in this field. So check out the Joe podcast, The uh, the Sugar Munster. Um, and again, and this is what we say, if you're serious about making changes, then go and watch that podcast. Get in touch with Joe. Go on one of her courses. Learn how to eliminate sugar from your life. That's just one easy step. I personally uh, took away sugar and replaced it with natural honey. It tastes just as good. I love it. 
And I've tried to cut it out in foods. I'm not a perfect at it, but I'm making that first adjust, you know, that first adjustment, that change in my life. So in your life, the first thing that you can do to get rid of today is sugar. And you are going to see the health benefits of that in no time whatsoever. The second change that I'm going to suggest today is screen time. You need to reduce the screen time. How many of us, last thing before we go to bed, we're either playing a game on our phones or our computers or we're checking our social media status. And then we go to sleep and the first thing we do when we wake up, we reach over and we pick it up. Because some kind of miracle might have happened in the last six or seven hours while you've been asleep. You might have missed a hundred messages. Not. So we need to reduce our screen time. That is affecting your mental health straight away. It takes a period of time to fall to sleep properly. So if you've been staring at a screen, even the TV, just before bed, it takes time to wind down and get into a proper sleep. So when you wake up the next morning, you don't feel like you've had proper recharge the batteries you don't feel like you've slept properly and then you're reaching over and picking and then you're just repeating 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 so we need to start giving ourselves an hour before bed and even an hour in the morning if possible leave the phone on charge we can catch up with everything nothing nothing is so important that it can't be left for a little bit longer and if it was important someone would be phoning and the third tip and change that I'd like you to introduce into your life, is to plan ahead. Now, this may sound really simple, really easy, and you might think, oh, I already know it in my head, but trust me. Get a piece of paper, or your diary, notepad, journal, whatever, and just spend 10 minutes the night before planning tomorrow. What do you need to get done? whether that's taking the kids to school, doctor's appointment, getting your hair done, but make a list of all the things that are priorities that have to get done. And then the next day, you can tick them off. And what that does, it starts sending signals to our brain that we've accomplished things. It makes us feel more empowered, more confident. So this is a great thing. And also we can start to look at our day and see, where are we wasting time? What are we doing that's just not productive? Where can we start fitting things in? You know, can we watch a little bit of something what takes us closer to our goal? If you're setting up a business, can we learn a little bit more about marketing? Or, you know, if there's a family member who you've not seen, can we fit that in? Put that in our list. So let's start creating tomorrow, today. And that's just another little easy step that we can use. So three little things that we've introduced today. What it's not cost anything. You can bring it into your life very easily. Now you won't see it, but these are profound changes that successful uh, people do. Right. So number one, start to cut out the sugar in your life. Number two, reduce screen time. And number three, plan ahead. That's today's little three little three changes that you can make. And each time we're going to keep adding. And then over the course of this series, you're going to be able to look back and be a different person.